This in itself was way harder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize how addicted I was to the screen filling my boredom with scrolls and dopamine. 30 days ago, I decided I needed to delete social media. I had seen some other people do it on YouTube and in my personal life, I had a couple people delete all their social media and have some results. So I decided to do it myself. I also found myself a lot more invested into Instagram and Snapchat. I found myself a lot more invested in my online status. I was a lot more invested in my followers and my likes and how many views I was getting on Snapchat. And that's not the person I want to be. With the way I've been moving in life, trying to have the structure of everything be positivity and productivity, I couldn't help but notice every single time I got that free time. Every single time I got bored, I ran to my phone. I ran to the scroll. I ran to watching people's stories. I would unconsciously, hour on end, just scroll through social media, waste time, waste time, waste more time. I was filling a lot of my free time, a lot of my boredom with scrolls on social media, just occupying myself with other ideas, other thoughts that I didn't have to control. You kind of feel as if you're going through things when you're on social media. You feel whatever it is that you're scrolling through, you're looking at. So you're unconsciously having all these feelings, emotions about things that you don't control because you don't control what's on social media. With everything going on in the world right now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you can agree with me. Social media has gotten way out of hand, if that makes sense. Social media is not social media anymore. Instagram and Snapchat and whatever, it's all like fucking porn now. And if you're not watching porn, you're not watching some girls show off their body, you're watching somebody die, you're watching somebody get shot, you're watching some police shit. It's just not positive. Really, half the time, over half the time, what you see on social media, you probably didn't want to see or didn't intend in seeing in the first place. Now, when I first deleted social media, I can say, this was hard, bro. Like I said, it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I found myself bored a lot. I found myself with a lot of time. While dealing with all this time, while handling all this time, I came to the conclusion that people simply don't get anywhere in life. People simply don't move forward in life because of all these distractions. People have other things to focus on when they get that downtime, when they get that free time, which doesn't allow them to focus on their needs, their goals that they have set that's not working a nine to five, that's not doing what the normal everyday person is doing. Social media and other distractions have kind of filled in that blank space that you weren't working. Now going throughout the month, getting later in the month, I realized that this was easier to maintain. This was easier to uphold. And I felt like that's because I wasn't so much addicted to social media in itself. I was addicted to the distraction that it provided. I was addicted to the fact that it could fill that blank space. I was addicted to the fact that I didn't have to come up with new ideas. I could sit down and watch videos. I could sit down and scroll or sit down and look at other people's lives and it was entertainment. One, this not only takes from you and your goals, but it's taking away a lot of your time and you don't even realize it. I say you don't realize it because I didn't realize it until I decided to put down social media for this 30 days. I put down social media for 30 days and I found myself with a lot more time. I found myself with a lot more thinking time, a lot more physical time, a lot more time to just be productive, get things done, move forward in life, not be stagnant. To anybody trying to reach goals, to anybody trying to be better than the average person, I suggest you delete social media for a little bit. I suggest you delete it for a month at first, but as I've experienced, you might not want to download social media again. I found myself after 30 days of deleting social media after not having Snapchat and Instagram and having to deal with all this time, dealing with all this me, dealing with all my everything. I don't think social media is something that I can go back to 
in the way I was doing it before, if that makes sense. I know I want to have social media for marketing purposes, for basically, yeah, basically marketing purposes. Just getting my stuff out there, having more share, more reach, because I know it's limited when you don't put yourself on social media considering how many people are on social media platforms. But it's simply gotten to the point where I don't see the importance in social media. I will have Snapchat, I will have Instagram, simply because I feel like I need them for some reason. There's this odd feeling about me deleting them and then me just having to re-download them again sooner than later. If I'm being real, I do delete Snapchat like all the way because that is tempting to just click on and scroll through stories. I'm not so much of an Instagram person because as of some of you know, I had like fucking 50, 60,000 followers on Instagram at one point and it all got taken away from me, all got snatched just like that. So after that whole experience, I never have really been the Instagram type, but I was finding myself getting more invested into social media. I was finding myself getting more invested into the numbers, especially because I was starting this YouTube channel. I was trying to grow in all aspects of my life and I didn't need to grow with numbers, if that makes sense. Numbers, the numbers on the screen that you read, the numbers that reflect how you feel don't mean anything. They're not gonna change anything in the current moment. They're not gonna change your life. You can get a million likes and you're still gonna be sitting here watching this video. And if you get two likes, you're still gonna be sitting here watching this video. It's all about perspective, man. Just learn to muscle down, be strong with you and your thoughts and be firm with you and your thoughts and you'll get far in life, man. With that being said, I will be deleting social media right now. As you can see, I got my little apps tucked in a folder. There's Instagram, there's Snapchat, and I will delete them both for you right now. Instagram and Snapchat are deleted. It is November 19th, and they will not be on my phone till at least December 19th, so. Hold me to it, man, and let's keep grinding. Let's keep getting better. Let's keep moving forward. And Once again, anybody taking steps, anybody moving forward in life, anybody that has aspirations, that are creating their dreams, that are making their dreams come true, I'm proud of you, man. There's not a lot of people up doing. There's not a lot of people grinding. There's not a lot of people that want to be more than the average person. A lot of people will sit around. A lot of people will be okay be comfortable be complacent with what they got going on and i'm proud of you for not being comfortable i'm proud of you for taking those new steps making yourself better making yourself more knowledgeable more in tune with earth and everything going on man i'm really proud of you we need a lot more people like that out here so keep grinding keep staying to your shit it's a process it's a path you got to love the process enjoy the process and you will love the outcome. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday, man. Every day is a holiday. Y'all have a good one.